Now to start, one of the things that, that makes a great venture a great venture, maybe the most important thing is the leader. You guys are leaders of, of many companies. So I want to get, from your perspective, what do you think has made your company so successful, whether it is your personality that you've been able to choose the right industry, hire the right people, or you just have a passion for it? Um, you certainly need to be uh, flexible enough to change with the environment. And if I you know, reference my, my first company, which we started prior to the unfortunate events of 9-11, and we're focused in uh, utilizing our technology for environmental purposes. And uh, again, with the unfortunate circumstances of 9-11, the company was primarily uh, financed from R&D uh, grants via federal and, and state. And uh, the money shifted from environmental use to homeland security and homeland defense. Our technology, we were able to, with slight modification, adapt it, or adapt it rather, to uh, be used for homeland security and defense purposes, spent a great deal of time in Washington briefing Congress on what we had and its capabilities. Um, going down that path, looked at what we can then do to take that product, that technology, to the commercial markets. Uh, investigated a number of markets that the technology may be applicable to, found a void in the medical industry, sterilization, and uh, looked at, developed a path for what we need to do to get that technology in a position where it may be attractive for um, strategic partnership, engaged in partnership, and um, work with that company and, and found the best way for uh, to continue to work with that company was them to acquire us. For, for us and for our tech, I think it's really been creating a plan and executing against that plan. I'm actually a pretty risk averse person, um, contrary to the typical entrepreneurial profile. I'm an attorney and attorneys tend to be risk averse and think about what can go wrong. Um, and so I like to create a strategic plan of where we're going and um, and force my team, I have to use the word force because everyone isn't, isn't um, that way, and force my team to execute against that plan. Um, even now, given, or even more importantly now, given the size we're at and we still want to continue on growing um, at a certain rate, each year we go through an annual planning exercise. We examine every single customer we have, every single salesperson we have, and say, what is the revenue we're going to derive from this particular customer? What is the revenue we're going to derive from new business? Um, where is that going to come from? What's the salesperson that's going to drive it? What's the territory that's going to drive it? And then we measure against that. I measure against it on a monthly basis. Each of my team members gets a report how they're doing on that against uh, on a monthly basis. And then as a group, we meet and we go over it on a quarterly basis so that we can correct where we're going and make small changes along the way because things change over the course of the year. You know, I think um, it's really a tough job being an entrepreneur. It's really hard because you never turn it off. It's 24 by 7. And life balance is extremely important. That's something that I think you can't be successful without. At least I can't. And it, it starts really with at home. And I have a very supportive wife. She's not involved in my business or any of my businesses. But uh, she's extremely supportive. She's my best friend, and we have an incredible relationship. And that, that really, you know, when you come back home with a terrible problem, you just need comfort, and I, I get comfort. It really starts there. But uh, aside from that, I think you need to be a gambler and a risk taker. Um, I, I would never go to Las Vegas and gamble. I, actually, my first company, we networked a lot of the casinos, and everything is rigged. <laughs> Can I say that? I shouldn't say that with the camera. Sort of, not rigged, but you know what I mean. I mean, things are influenced in one way or another. But, um, rigged. So, but, I, but I, you know, I love to take the risk. And what's happened over the years is we've become so risk adverse as a nation that we've become stagnant. We're not really moving anymore. So we need people that are going to get out there that have a passion and believe in what they want to do, set a big goal. And I'm not a detailed person, so I can't, I can't look at the numbers all the time. I like to look at uh, a dashboard on a daily basis. So I like to see what's happening in real time. But um, I like to set the big goal and then assemble the right team for the smart people, because I'm not really the smart guy. So yeah, I need to get the smart guys involved to actually get things done.